Oh, it is really, really not a nice day though. I hope, I hope it only gets better. Um, I don't know how much more of this I can emotionally handle. Good morning. It is the morning of day four. We are camped at the base of Cirque Mountain. Beautiful views all around us. It's a little bit chillier this morning. It's not as overcast. There's some blue sky and I will take no rain. In order to get to Wrangell, we have to maintain a pace of 25 kilometers per day. Um, of course, it sounds easy when the current is ripping like this but there's a lot of things that slow us down but i know we'll be okay um worst comes to worst we call a jet boat to come pick us up at any point don't get any ideas <laughs> i've got his number on speed dial I climbed out of the tent a little earlier today, got uh, water, drinking water, which I just scooped out of the tarp, fixed the tarp up a bit there, got the food barrels, got coffee going, water on to boil. Uh, and Tori did all the stuff in the tent, um, got the kids dressed, deflated all our uh, X-Ped air mattresses, which are really comfy by the way. And now she's gonna take down the tent. I'm gonna finish doing coffee, watch the kids, which is, can be, a large job and um, yeah with any luck we'll be out of here before 11. Yeah, I want to get Wesley's medicine in him, so okay, can you get... just fill this with water? Mm. Power, mm -hmm. Let's do I'm trying to charge for the salmon run. Like last time we caught fish here. So. Sometimes with the nice weather comes uh, bugs. So I'm going to put on a little uh, muscal here. We have 25% uh, deet and uh, and uh, family and kids muscal, which is 10%. So I use, sometimes use a bit of both. I was not expecting there to be bugs out here though, eh? Plus he gets his tummy medicine and this helps him be a happy boy all day. A little something to wash it down. A little wipe the sand off his head. More? More. More? Okay. Tunes, Huddy. Okay. Stand up. Stand up. Good standing. Good standing, bud. Every day we uh, stand up with Wesley a bit or let him sit up on his own. Let him practice walking a little bit. And this is a wetsuit that we're putting on Wes. This will keep him uh, 
warm as well. We just got a treat, a little burn he got uh, on our can on the uh, overlanding adventure um, because uh, he was sitting too close to the fire and a spark landed on him. So we're making sure we treat that properly. Yay! Jim is a dad, Tori is his mama, and Huddy is a little brother. They love each other. Yeah. Again! Yeah. How's he doing? Maybe if we just like stay completely hard right there. It's just kind of sketchy, like there's so many currents, you know? But maybe we can just merge with the current and then get hard left. It's probably the best thing to do. You know? So like instead of tur turning yeah, in, we're going to point the bow down, down river. river. Exactly. Oh, okay. I like that idea better. Yeah, yeah I like that idea better. We drag the canoe up there, Spin it bow, put, put the bow down river. pointing down river, and then paddle hard and then merge with the current and then get hard left. You know? And are we back, kind of back ferrying left or just, no, just paddling just left? just paddling left, yeah. Okay, yeah? Yeah. We can do it. Okay, honey. With your little, what are those feet, man? Are they made out of like? Juniper bushes. Steel? And sunshine. try to merge with this main current here and avoid the whirlpools it's hard to see from here but there's major whirlpools right in here it's gonna want to try to flip us up river okay okay so draw okay back paddle sweep 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 yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, forward, forward hard. Hard, hard, hard. Draw, draw. Okay, forward hard, forward hard. Hard, hard. Nice, we missed it. Good job. When you're yelling like that, yeah. it really makes me <laughs> try really hard. Good, good. You know? Because I'm like panicking. I'm like, We're gonna jump! That's why he's yelling like that, you know? Right. So that's why I'm like, do what he says and do it as best as you can. Yeah, well you you always do though. That was kind of perfect. We just didn't do it like calm with smiles on our faces, you know? <laughs>
so we're about here. Mm -hmm. um, so this is abundant camping. That's at kilometer 90, which is where we're trying to make it to. But I'm just thinking, let's just see how the wind is. Like maybe we get here and it's not windy. Okay. Or maybe it's super windy and then we push on and maybe it's not, yeah. not windy there. Okay, cool. I don't want to jump. Are you chilly, bum bum? Part. I'm just trying to warm my body up. Huh. Um, we weren't going to stop because Huddy was napping woke up and looked at us and goes, eat, eat. So he's pounding a cliff bar. He loves cliff bars for some reason. He like eats it and he like gives like a slow nod as he's chewing it. It wasn't our plan for him to eat cliff bars. He but just, he just doesn't want to eat anything else that we brought. So, so. we're not eating our cliff bars now and we're starved. <laughs> go eat, go eat. Okay, go. Go eat, go eat. Go eat. Go eat. Hey buddy! Hey little cutie! <laughs> Your brother loves you, honey. <laughs> yeah. I think I was probably coming from a glacier, right? Yeah, probably. Look, look how many waterfalls there. are on it. No? <laughs> After a little pit stop for lunch, we brought a bunch of rocks into the canoe so Huddy can throw them out of the boat as we paddle and he seems to be really happy about that. We're passing that waterfall that's just coming from hundreds and hundreds of feet up in the mountains, crashing down. I can actually hear it. It's really cool. So yeah, really awesome spot to stop for lunch. Mama. Do you want some socks on? Children. You want socks and shoes? Children. Okay, sit down. Ow. His feet were finally getting cold, eh? Yeah. Did he say feet are cold? Yeah. He said feet cold? Yeah. Wow, what a tough little guy though, eh? It only took four days. <laughs> Mommy, here. Walking me. around barefoot. Well, we have arrived at camp and it looks like a beautiful spot right at the mouth of this uh, glacial creek with just a beautiful glowing blue water. Bit of a hike to get up to the camping area from the river. 
and uh, made sure I pulled the canoe up nice and far, tied it off because, well, you know why if you've watched uh, the first day of this trip. Didn't even go away. It's in the ground. You can't have our yellow and dump it on the ground. You can't have both of it. Nice jump. You little trickster. Well, Hudson dumped yet another bag of, well, the rest of the bag of trail mix onto the ground, which is extremely frustrating. Um, I also had dehydrated a bunch of yogurt with Wesley and it didn't work properly. So that's also frustrating. I brought enough meal replacement shakes for Wesley that he can have for lunch, but the plan was for him to have some yogurt and the meal replacement shakes to be kind of extra for him, but he'll just have to have meal replacement shakes for lunch. And I'm gonna figure out what's for dinner tonight. I have no idea anymore. Well, we'll do another turkey dinner tonight because it's extremely easy and filling. And I don't feel like doing anything else. I'm tired. 10 days is too long with a toddler, note to self, never do that again. I dehydrated a bunch of dinners for Wesley. These are all his dinners. They worked out actually really well. It's a bunch of shepherd's pie, chicken pot pie, or beef pot pie. Let's do this one, because it's not vacuum sealed. So. Oh, shepherd's pie it is, Wesley. Tori whipped up some of her Thanksgiving dinner, which is my favorite kind of homemade uh, dehydrated meal, or is it a rehydrated meal now? I'd say day four was a success, all in. Uh, we got some cold wind, but this morning was beautiful. Rain starting to pick up now, but for the most part, weather was good. Scenery was crazy good. We're in the rainforest now, so no, no shocker that it's raining. And um, yeah, we're just gonna keep pushing on to Alaska. Thank you, Henry. What is 
is why I like to get to camp so that everything can be done before it's dark. Right? Yeah. Need a drink, honey? I took off some musical instruments. Ah. Oh, you're gonna make sand castles again? I love you forever. I love you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. Your brother's playing with you, Wes. Hopefully, he's doing nice. Baby, see. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Hudson, Hudson, wait, wait for Dada. Buddy, where are you running off to, bud? Shoulders? Okay, shoulders. <laughs> Ooh, look, look, Mako. See you, Mako? What did you find, Huddy? What kind of skull is that? Hey, what kind of skull is that, Huddy? Uh, Huddy found this uh, beaver skull on our walk this morning but uh, yeah wolves got it and there was a bunch of wolf scat with uh, chunks of bone in it and Huddy wanted to come back and show his mama which he did very proudly he's cute Good morning. It is the morning of day five, which means it is the halfway point of our trip. We're trying to keep on pace of 25 kilometers a day, so I don't know where that will put us today, but um, I think it means we'll be at a kilometer 120, um, which means that that's pretty much the halfway point of the trip because it's 240 kilometer river. And we're almost packed up. Jim and I just have to eat, uh, load the canoe, uh, we don't know what time it is, but hopefully by the time we get on the river, it's 11. Again, we have no idea what time it is. It could be 2 p.m. already, for all I know. Whoa! 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 Well, here is a new fishing rod I've made for Huddy. We're on to number three. The first one was lost in the windstorm. Then he whipped the next one in. So this will, you know, a couple hours of entertainment from the front of the boat.
There you go. There you go. There you go. Ah, not exactly our finest time of getting on the water, eh? But we're on. I mean, slower start with the rain this morning. Yeah, we didn't want to get out of bed. Yeah, I got one. You got one. Yay! Are you going to eat it or are you going to throw it back? Mmm, yummy fish. Thank you, honey. I got it! You got it! <laughs> well, we just passed the uh, Scud River. And the rain's really coming down here. Not uh, ideal. Can you please sit down? Yeah, you need to sit down. No, you can't sit on my lap. Yeah. So we're just gonna try to inch up to it. I think Like sorry, I'm really struggling to hear you. Believe it or not. Does he want to sleep? Yeah, but he wants to sleep on my lap. Aww. All right, lots of sweepers around here for sure. We're just picking our way through a bunch of uh, snags and sweepers and stuff, but plenty of room to navigate if we can manage the varying currents. All right, paddle hard. See that green? Yeah. Thing there? Get to the right of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you gotta keep that sweep going and keep, keep us on this angle right here. coming down here and uh, we think uh, we might have a cabin we could stay in tonight. It's marked on uh, some river notes we have so it's probably just a cabin anybody can use um, but you know these river notes that we've had are probably 30 years old so who knows what's there if it's still standing uh, but we're definitely going to check it out and we paddled on a little further because we thought it might be a good place to uh, dry out some clothes potentially 
because uh, I'm starting to get a lot of wet stuff building up, if you can imagine. The cabin could be there. The cabin could be, yeah, right through here. I don't know how much more of this I can emotionally handle. Do you see anything? I don't. Well, we pulled over to make camp because we had given up on finding the cabin.